What up, players? Warboss Tip in this mode. Got a Warboss painting tutorial for you today. It's on this Skaven Clan Rat. Or not Clan Rat, Plague Monk. Sorry about that. And I'm painting this guy up as a member of Clan Scurvy, which is a Skaven clan that is famous for having the largest Skaven naval force in the old world. And I bet you know where I'm getting my inspiration from that. It's all this Dreadfleet that's been out, or the, all this hullabaloo for Dreadfleet. I thought a great, some great fluff for this army would be that Clan Scurvy's this little warband is going after the lost Skaven fleet that's found in the Leviathan, the giant rotting zombie carcass of that Leviathan, and all the Skaven inside are undead sailors now. I think they all died and they're a part of Count Noctilus's crew. But I thought it'd be fun and fluffy if these Skaven in this warband were, were, were out looking for them. So I, I painted the base up gray to reflect how they're looking for their, their brethren in the ship's graveyard. Or, gosh, I don't even know what the fluff of Dreadfleet is, but I thought, you know, it's Clan Scurvy. I saw Chris Peach do an awesome little army workshop on his Clan Scurvy guys. If you have the Uniforms and Heraldry book that Games Workshop released for the Skaven, then it talks about Clan Scurvy as having yellow, mustardy, kind of mustard yellow, tau sept ochre colored robes for their clan rats and for their slaves and for their storm, for storm vermin. So I thought a good green to go with that would be this Gretchen green, which is what I use. So, um, so I decided to paint my plague monk this way. If you want your plague monks to come out some, looking something like this, dirty, bedraggled, just really, you know, weather beaten and kind of beat up looking, then please follow my war boss tutorial. This is going to be another entry into Girl Painting's 7,000 subscriber contest which I'm super excited about. I hope I can get a couple more in for the competition deadline. But yeah, if you want your Skaven to turn out something like mine, then please follow the steps that I'm about to lay out for you. And thanks for watching. So I just built up my Skaven Plague Monk and I based him, I because I've given him this book, I was afraid he wouldn't be able to stand on his base. So just to give him a little bit of height, I put him on some cork and I added some sand. The sand is still drying. What I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to spray coat my Skaven now and I'm going to spray him in a dark gray primer and then I'm going to let that dry for a while. You can also use black or white. I think for this model there's no real difference. The, obviously the if you spray with white the colors are going to be lighter if you spray with black then the colors are going to end up darker you'll have more natural shadows but really there's no predominantly light or dark color to this model so so either will work and I've decided to split the difference and go with the dark gray spray so I'm going to do that and I'll see you when that is done okay so I painted up the base colors on my plague monk now I'm going to take you through each color that I used. Most of these are all Citadel Foundation colors or Games Workshop Metallics. And like I said, this is just the base colors. We'll do some shading and highlighting in the next step. So first thing we're going to look at is Deneb Stone. And for this one we're going to paint all of the nails, like on the feet, all of the fingernails on the hands and all of the teeth. Deneb stone. Also you're gonna paint any other bones like for example this guy's got a bone belt buckle kind of thing and there might be other bone pieces decoration on the model like here you see the the nails I painted. And you're also gonna paint Deneb stone if you have any paper or parchment for the models that are holding the books or the scrolls and also for the models with the staff, with the paper parchment hanging off of it, you're going to paint the parchment this den of stone color. And I also decided that I'm going to paint the pimples in this color so that you can, when we shade them with reds and purples, they'll stand out more. 
All right, so that's Deneb Stone, this little piece of bone that I painted in that color. Next on the list is Calthin Brown. This is GW's foundation color, Calthin Brown. And that I used to paint any of the Skaven's fur, which you'll see on his arms, legs, and arms, and, or not legs, but sometimes there's fur on the feet, sometimes there's fur on the mouth for any hoods that, or heads that don't have hoods on them. Anywhere there's fur, you're gonna paint that. Also, I decided to go with Calden Brown as a base color for the book, for the binding of the book. Next, we've got Citadel Foundation Gretchen Green, and this is what I used for the base color for the robe. Some of these have hoods that you might want to paint in the same color. I decided to go with a lighter brown hood because when I wash, use the washes, I, I think it'll stand out a little bit better, make it look like he's just got dirty rags wrapped around his head. But you're perfectly welcome to use the green. I know if you go to the Games Workshop website, the Skaven Plague Monks that you see there are all painted in dark green, only one color. I guess I just wanted to whip out a batch of these really quickly, so that's what I did. But I decided to go with a different color. I decided to go with this Kemri Brown color. Speaking of which, I've got Kemri Brown right here, and that's what I used it for. You're also welcome to use Kemri Brown on any other bandages. Some of their feet have bandages wrapped around them, like this one. You can paint that in Kemri Brown. I decided to go with Gretchen Green. Also, you're going to be painting Kemri Brown your pouches and the rope they use as belts. If you can see that, Kemri Brown. Okay, what do we have next? Talarn Flesh. This is what this we're going to paint on the feet, the fingers, and specifically what I mean by the feet are the, the toes, the fingers, and the snout, and the tongue. So anything where you see the Skaven's bare skin, as well as the tail, except for the boils and the pimples. So these are any parts of the Skaven that are not covered in fur, or not bones or nails or talons. That's what we're going to paint Talarn Flesh on. I also painted Talarn Flesh on the tongue, because I didn't want the, the Skaven's tongue to be too dark red, and we're going to shade it to make it look a little bit more pink in just a little while. Then Chaos Black, at this stage I really only use this color to color in the mouth because the primer I used was dark gray but you could still see where the tongue ended and the cavern of the mouth what began. If you paint black then it kind of looks like he's got a full, full um, mouth modeled into the folds of his robe. Last thing, Bolt Gun Metal is what we painted all of the metallic parts. So, the bands around each wrist, the binding of the tomb that he's holding, and his sword right there. Also found this little thing on top of his bandage head. I decided to paint it up as a metal icon rather than a, a bone decoration. But you could also paint this as bone colored with Deneb Stone if you want. Speaking of which, you could also do his bracelets as ivory by painting them in Deneb Stone as well. So this is the base coats that I've come up with, and like I said, I'm going to be building this model to represent a plague monk from Clan Scurvy, or on loan to Clan Scurvy, which is the largest naval force that Skaven have, and so he's he, his robes, the color of Clan Scurvy is a sick, sickly mustard yellow color. Um, which I must have mentioned in the beginning because I'm planning on mentioning it when I finish this video I'm Working like backwards and forwards, but but I think this Gretchen green is a little bit better of a color to to Match the mustardy yellow color. I'm planning to paint the clan rats and the storm vermin um, Chris peach has a great article I'm also going to mention that in the video Earlier which you've just seen which I haven't done yet because I'm going to be making it in the future at the end of this video. Oh, so confusing. But he's where I draw a lot of the inspiration for it because he's such a great converter, which I must have mentioned already, so I'm just gonna stop it now. 
The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply the washes and I'm gonna just tell you right off the bat what I'm gonna do with those. For the skin colors, I'm going to wash with Ogren Flesh. So any of the hands and the feet and the snout, I'm gonna paint Ogren Flesh. The tongue, I'm going to wash with Baal Red. And the tail, I'm gonna wash with Baal Red. I'm also gonna use Baal Red to, to color any of the pimples and boils on the rat's body. And then I'm gonna use Devlin Mud for the sword, the robes, all of the robes, so the brown and the green parts, as well as the metals and the book. So basically, basically the two colors I'm gonna be using are Devlin Mud and Ogren Flesh with Baal Red just to color the tongue and the boils. So we'll see what that looks like when I get back. While I was waiting for the washes to dry, I decided to do the script in the book. The way I did this was, my idea was that the Skaven that wrote this book used some warp stone mixed in with the ink, which causes some of the letters to, to glow with this kind of spooky iridescent, not iridescent, but just spooky glowing green light. That's the word I was looking for. So the way I did that was, first I used Devlin Mud, and then with my paintbrush, I tried to make cursive, like scribbles, but then I, I used cursive little, you know, I don't know what you would call it, like cursive, like a cursive form of writing. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired. So instead of just like making squiggly lines, I tried to make like how you would make an F in cursive or an L with lots of loops and, and a slant, slight slant to the words. It's hard when you start with Devlin Mud, but uh, I thought it would be better than going in with black ink because you have this dark kind of style, dark writing that kind of looks faded once it dries. Once I was done with that, I added some snot green, some really thin down snot green, and then I just went over lightly in most of the most of the scribbles, like the Skaven sign, and then I went back over some of it, the very, very fine highlight of Goblin Green. And that's how I got the effect of those glowing letters. I also decided to base my Skaven and going with the, the Skaven marching on the beach kind of theme, I went for a kind of sandy beach sand color with this guy standing on the rock. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-highlight the model's skin areas with Talarn Flesh. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Deneb Stone to the Talarn Flesh to make the skin look really pale and sickly. And for the fur, I'm going to use a mix of, of Bestial Brown and Calton Brown and maybe even add a little bit of, of Kemri Brown in there for the highlights. And then I'm just going to do a light, really, really light dry brushing on the edges. And for the tail, I'm just going to highlight back with Talon Flesh and Deneb Stone. And then for, for the robe and for the hood, I'm going to highlight back up with just a little bit of Gretchen Green for the, for the, the robe and for the hood and the pouches, I'm going to use my Kemri Brown again. Really light feathering and just picking up the edges where the lights would hit because we want our monks to look dirty and, and just gross and disheveled. I'm also going to add bolt gun metal highlights to the sword and then I'm going to nick it up with some chain mail. I'm also going to nick up with chain mail the bracers, the metal bracers. And by nicking, I mean that I'm going to add diagonal slashes to look like the rust and the rust on the metal is starting to scrape off because of use. Okay, so I will come back as soon as the highlighting is done. So there you have it. I took some dark flesh and some blood red and I added little little dags to the guy's hood. Sorry if you can focus there. I also, what else did I do? I washed with a little bit of Leviathan purple some areas of the tail just to make them look a little sickly and all of the little pock marks. Pox marks, the warts and pimples and stuff. Then I watered down some scorched brown and dark flesh and gave the pouch a little, some little something something, some blood 
dried blood on the outside of the pouch. <coughs> and that was it. So I hope you've enjoyed this war boss tutorial on how to paint the Skaven Plague Monk. And this this is just one option, of course. There are a lot of different color schemes for plague monks. I've seen gr really dark green robes. Mine is a little bit more sickly green, and that's because for my Skaven army, I, I have this idea, I had the idea, which I told you about in the beginning of the video, to put this guy into Clan Scurvy, which is the kind of mustardy yellow army that you might have seen seen on in White Dwarf and on the, on, on the Games Workshop website. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. This is another quick war boss tutorial and an entry into Girl Painting's painting tutorial competition for October. And um, I can really see myself painting a whole bunch of these guys if I ever want to get serious about my Skaven army. Maybe build up the other 19 guys because the color scheme is super duper easy. A lot of foundation colors, some washes, and you know, not too much real, real detail work, which is why I wanted to get, get into the hood. It just felt too plain without something. And I think the red sets it apart pretty nicely. If we can get a little focus there, thank you. I also like the, the models, you know, they're starting to show their age next to the newer Skaven models, but the details like the hoods covering the eyes and just the pox, mark, pox marks and, and all the boils and stuff in the book too is, is really great detail. So I'm, I'm happy with these models and I am happy with the paint job and I hope you are too. So let me know if you have any questions. Another color you could substitute if you don't want to go with this sickly green color and you want to use something else instead of Gretchen green I've also seen Narlock green as a great kind of common color scheme for the plague monks Narlock green would, would work really great follow all the same steps just use Narlock green instead but I think this will match the mustard yellow talcept ochre kind of color that I would probably paint up the rest of the clan rats in just to be different go a uh, veer away from the standard red games workshop color scheme Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you're all enjoying the closing weeks of Oktoberfest as we, Spookytoberfest, as we're grinding away, getting into the last stretch of the month. And let me know if you've got any more requests. I've got a request for a Doom Wheel, and some, I think somebody asked me to do Space Marines, or um, a Space Wolf, but I was like, ah, Spookytoberfest, gotta do some creepy stuff. So, uh, I'm still dig digging around my old treasure trove of models that I've accrued over the years and hopefully I'll find something that will fit the Spookytoberfest criteria and we can finish out the month with something, something pretty cool and awesome. But thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and thanks for all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, people sending me comments and, and liking my videos and 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 all that stuff thanks for all the support really appreciate all of you guys and um it keeps me going and it motivates me to get these models up and painted so in case i don't want them anymore then at least i can sell them off and make a little bit of money but all right thanks for watching i'm gonna get out of here and we'll see you in the next one